Hi, my name is Sylvie and my job is to take the overwhelm out of paleo living. Today, we're going to be talking about making non-dairy milk and I'll be showing you how I make my three favorite non-dairy milk. I'm sure you've heard of almond milk. This is probably the most commonly used non-dairy milk. I personally buy my almond milk uh, because I do not want to be making nut milks that will require me to strain anything out. Plus, uh, almond milk is so easy to find in stores. Um, I just buy it. I realize that the ingredients are not perfectly clean and if you are ultra sensitive and you have to be really careful with your diet, you might want to try um, these other options that I'll be sharing with you today and not even buy any nut milk at all. But in a pinch, I'm going to show you what I do for my nut milks. They are super easy, delicious, affordable and they don't require any straining. Okay, so let me show you. First, sunflower seed milk. Have you ever heard of making sunflower seed milk? I hadn't until pretty recently and I love it. Next, cashew milk. Cashew milk is creamy and really satisfying. Some people recommend that you soak your cashew nuts, but if you have a high powered blender, you will not need to soak them. Trust me on that. I've tried it both ways. I had a jar of nut milk made from the cashews that were soaked, another jar that was made from the cashews that were not soaked. And there was absolutely no difference whatsoever. And the last kind of milk I wanna show you that I make is hemp hearts milk. So hemp hearts also make a very creamy and delicious milk. And again, they are super simple to use. Let's get started. For the hemp heart milk, I put about half a cup of hemp hearts. Now, as far as the liquid goes, it depends on how creamy you want your milk and also how calorie dense you want your milk. Keep in mind that hemp hearts are quite calorie dense. Half a cup of hemp hearts has, has about 400 calories. Here I am putting just a little bit over three cups of water because I want to be able to just fill up a one liter mason jar and that'll be about the right quantity for that. Okay, so now the milk is quite foamy it might need to rest a bit before I uh, pour it all in the jar. Let's see. Yeah. There you go. Look at all the goodness. For your cashew milk, you're going to be using very close to one cup of raw cashews. So creamy. Can you see how creamy that is? Okay, so our last milk here is going to be our sunflower seed milk. I'm using about a cup of raw sunflower seeds. A little bit over three cups of water. That's it. Here's your sunflower milk. Mm. 